This is What the Spot, a podcast where we read and talk about paranormal erotica novels. I think you mean paranormal romance novels? How about some of both? So you don't have to. You know what? I have to say it, Erin. I was really starting to doubt you about how sexy this book was. Because it was sexy. Like, all the foreplay was was sexy, but it was it was sexy. <laughs> And then we oh, get to that. Oh my god. Yes. I was prepared for it to go closed door or even nothing. Cause it felt like the way it was going, it's just like, okay, la, la, la. and then I was like, whoa. <laughs> okay, so this is my turn to shine, right? <laughs> Stop. So Stop I, I actually have a question for you guys because I, like I said, I didn't get to read the whole book. I didn't get all the extra extra buildup. When you guys read this scene, did you guys read it as like a super passionate scene or very casual, we're going to get it on? Both. Both. Because for me, this whole scene was what I call casual sex. (laughs) Talking about everyday things while. Because the attitude? Yeah. But because I didn't get to really have all that foreplay on the book. (laughs) Um, (laughs) because I told Karen when she said she hadn't read the book well here's where the sex scene is (laughs) start there (laughs) because I got your back boo (laughs) yeah I I feel like I, I did think it was incredibly passionate but it was also sex between people who are friends and yeah really get each other so yeah I read it as as having yeah. both a lot of it because i mean they're both broken like he's got broken cracked ribs and she's been shot and like they just woke up from a nap but when you gotta get it on you gotta get it on exactly <laughs> so they're like oh wait we're in bed together now this is happening now oh i guess i can kind of let my inhibitions go finally yes. i mm-hmm. i loved this scene also because it's really playful awkward sex too like they're talking about yeah. how it's like oh wait my rib oh wait or it starts out with like morning breath and then she makes the comment <laughs> about well unless we slept for 16 hours it's not actually morning breath it's just like something that people in a long-term or a relationship would do but yes i feel like it was something that people with kids that is how people with kids have sex <laughs> or married for a long time that it's not like yeah. insta love like i don't even think like yeah. right now i wouldn't say oh they're in love and they're gonna live happily ever after no but they're gonna give it a go which is awesome mm-hmm. it's a really cool yeah. way to end that story and i feel like they could have even like hashed out a grocery list <laughs> 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 which would not have been out of character for either one of them right. <laughs> They did that right after. <laughs> I like the fact that it started out awkward, but then it ended up with like dirty talk. Like, oh my gosh, lot. the dirty talk. Like it went from like, okay, yeah. Oh, wait, let me get out of my head for a second. And now I'm just like all the dirty talk and like just starts like saying all the sexy stuff. And he's like, oh shit. Okay. <laughs> Is this what we're doing now? And that's the thing. Even, even the sexy talk, I think started off very teasingly very like and that's kind of like I, I really I was mm-hmm. like yeah. oh yeah you like that big boy kind of thing like fucking around and then yeah. it goes into this whole okay we're doing this it was so much fun. <laughs> yeah um, and it probably yeah. worked better because they did have the friendship going so right. you didn't yeah. I'm yeah first time sex is probably a little bit awkward no matter what but it's not like they felt <laughs> as vulnerable or like as vulnerable as some people who had just met five days ago. And the fact and the way that the word cunt was used in this section of the book was perfect. And as yeah. soon as I read it, I was like, Candy's going to like that. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> like that. but it was just so like, there's nothing like weird or anything about it, you guys. It was great. Yeah, it was a really fantastically written scene (laughs) and makes me maybe take back some of my previous statements about books needing more sex. 
think it's a <laughs> well the other funny thing is this it i'm more of a i know when i was listening to some uh, of your prior podcasts i was like <laughs> oh god really this is the book that we are reading but okay <laughs> we'll go with it but yeah and then there's this sex scene that comes up and was like okay Whew. but like it for me it always depends on the like does it make sense in context or like what is yeah. the dynamic that we're dealing with and I'll sit down and buy into whatever you know whatever tell me a story convince me exactly um, <laughs> this one was, was f- fun in that regard but also like the next book is closed door oh so this is like I don't know if it's just completely out of nowhere and I also my prior experience with this author was hearing a friend talk about what the vampire vampire died no undead and unwed whatever that series is which is one of those that goes along forever and they don't get together for books and books and books so i i wasn't expecting explicit sex from that context either and then it's just like boom so i don't know if this was just like she was feeling frisky one she, day and was like was this is the way it. this goes with this couple or what i like the way this goes with this couple <laughs> <laughs> I, like it a lot. I can get behind that because he did get it yeah, and uh, the one thing- uh, <laughs> uh, 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 <laughs> oh that I was know. terrible i love it <laughs> <laughs> and the one thing that i really did adore uh, kind of weird maybe not weird about that scene was the um kind of sexualization of his bruises <laughs> the bruises that he got protecting the cubs and she's talking about how sexy the color is and whatever um and it kind of leans towards that um like i don't know protector papa bear energy mm-hmm. thing um not so much because I'm into bruising. I'm into bruising. Some people are. <laughs> <laughs> but it was an interesting like take on on looking at bruises that way, you know? Yeah. yeah I it love how it was dead. I just thought it was perfect and it like set perfectly at the end of this book. Like if this book was a jewelry setting, but that <laughs> sex scene would have fit perfectly <laughs> in that jewelry setting. <laughs> like that. Because it had it had it was humorous you know it was kind of funny it was super hot um you know it took a hot turn you know and at the Mm -hmm. end it's you know goes back to like you know just you know the good camaraderie that they have so I just feel like because sometimes sometimes I feel like authors might put sex scenes just like okay I need to put one here at 20 percent and here at 50 percent and here Mm -hmm. you know like the like they're almost obligated to do so and here like there was no obligation at this point there was no expectation Mm -hmm. but when she dropped it in it perfectly suited the book on both sides of that scene and the fact that when she get when they get home she's like let's go to bed and take a nap and he's all like (laughs) yeah okay we can do that (laughs) so they start with a nap which I don't know how many guys I've conned into my bed and girls, frankly, was saying, hey, guys, let's take a nap. <laughs> I never end up napping. But they took a nap first. <laughs> I just thought that's, it was so that's great. That's mom for yeah, right. right there. I agree. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's so funny. Well, Erin, thank you for your review of this book and for – like putting it out there for all of us to find i'm glad it worked out for you (laughs) like i said at first i was like oh dear but yeah (laughs) no i'm glad that it was fun probably be finding more books from from your recommendations (laughs) i hope they also work out (laughs) i'm sure they will (laughs) that was a quickie was it good for you 